हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू गोलिंग इमेज प्रोसेसिंग पार्ट वन यहाँ पर हियर वी आर गोइंग टू सी वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न हाउ टू रिसाइज द इमेज सो लेट अस फर्स्ट इंट्रोड्यूस यू दैट व्हिच गोलिंग लाइब्रेरीज वी आर गोइंग टू यूज सो वी हैव अ लाइब्रेरी नॉन इस गोलिंग इमेजिंग So just go to your Google's and search calling imaging. You will find your imaging packets. This is the Go packets that we are going to use. So this image, uh, uh, this imaging packets help us to resize, rotate, crop, brightness, con contrast, adjustment, etc. Okay. So uh, today we are going to learn. No, how to resize the image in this part one? Okay, so go to your folder and create a new. Okay, it is open. Create a new folder for our project, and I'm going to name it this uh, link image. Processing, okay, and open it. And here I'm going to open here my Visual Studio Code. Okay, and here well, we are going to create a new file in the name. Uh, main dot go which is the main file in our calling. Okay. Okay, it's taking a little bit time to create the file. Okay, no problem though. No, I should rename this because there is no main dot go. It's just only some anonymous file. So I'm going to make it dot go. I don't know why it's taking too much time here in my PC. Okay, now it's all right. Okay, great. So let us P A C K C K package main. Okay, this. This. Okay. Now, uh, here, uh, what we need to do first is. Uh, initialize the project. Okay, initialize the calling project. Let us uh, initialize. So for initialize, go mod. Uh, okay, not to go mod. Okay, go mod init. This one. Uh, our project name. What is our project name going to be? It is going to be calling ms processing. Okay. Okay, now it is being initialized. It is in, in initialized now. Now, after that, what we need to do is we need to install the packets, imaging packets. We have to install it in our um, this one, our project. So for uh, in, uh, uh, installing uh, golden imaging packets, just copy this here. Okay, I'm going to uh, paste this. Uh, URL of this uh, uh, website in the video description so that you can check it from there. And now we are going to install install the uh, golden imaging. So just put it here and click enter, hit enter, and then it is downloading. Yeah, it is downloaded now. Okay. So after downloaded, uh, we know that we need what we need to do and that is go more tidy okay clear and we already have now if we go to go to some then uh I think it is blank we did not see anything here uh, but in okay. okay here it is blank no problem because we have not written any code here okay so first what we need to do is we need to resize the image right we need to resize the image 
so first I'm going to get some image from my desktop and where is my folder ok image from here ok uh, here I'm going to get a file from here ok I'm going to get this file not not, not this file see, coffee ok copy this file and paste it to my project folder where is my project folder it's working YouTube and calling image processing ok so I'm going to create a new folder here and it should be image images ok and ok uh, uh, I'm just going to cut this one uh, it was my mistake I'm not going to paste it here I'm just going to uh, create another new folder inside images folder and that is original original okay, original so that well, we can understand what is uh, original and what is compressed here we're going to keep the compressed images okay okay uh, uh, it is not a compressed but it is resized resized okay. so here we have images uh, here we have original image and here we are going to have the compressed images oh, sorry not the compressed but resized images ok ok here I'm going to change the name of this file let us put it 1.jpg and you can check it what is the uh, you know size of this file and it is 4.8 MB megabyte it is going to be you know, compressed to very small size very soon let us come to our visitor studio code again and we can also check it from here because this is the folder just we have created now and we can check here that original folder we have one images and in the resize folder we don't have any images so now uh, let us go back to the website and check uh, the documentation that how uh, we are going to use it okay here image resizing here it is the uh, this one okay uh, at the end here uh, after the FAQ we have example code we can also check it here as well so if we don't want to waste too much time then we can just copy and copy and paste it from here so first let us copy this one okay because uh, it's also you know uh, not easy to memorize all the code so okay func uh, main okay I'm going to paste it here just I'm doing copy and paste you can memorize if you want open a test image okay here what we're going to do is here this imaging that often is going to you know often our image where where is our original image so we have to provide this address here okay so what is our original image where is our original image just uh, you know uh, delete this one and provide our uh, fat images but wherever it is available. okay original and inside that we have uh, what we have one dot jpeg jpg this is our original image okay? okay and um, uh, we're getting the location of our original image now and then here if it uh, provides any error uh, then uh, this is going to be executed like we failed to open in this, uh, you know like this and now let's go back to the website again and come back to here already we already have lots of you know uh, this one available uh, examples available here we can just copy and paste it so this is for the cropping this is for the resizing so as for the video title we are just going to resize it so we are just going to copy this one ok where is our visual studio code ok we are going to copy and paste it here ok now this is for the resizing resize the cropped images to 200 pixels so uh, this uh, this is the uh, you know uh, part of the images we have provided the part of the images that we want to resize and this is the white okay this is the white and this is the height okay height if you put the height zero then uh, it is going to be the auto 
automatically they are going to you know uh, take it automatically uh, but if we we can also put here as well uh, like 100 pixel if we want but we want to put it zero because the height should be you know uh, automatically scaled and the white should be 200 pixel so image landscape okay these are all uh, from the libraries we have to memorize that if you want but i'm going to copy and paste it here so no worries and let's go back now we have got the code for resizing images now we need for saving images okay for saving we have to copy this one at whatever is at the end and just uh, paste it here in our this uh, visual studio code okay okay so now here here the, uh, here we have to provide the part where the our compressed image is uh, going to be stored so where we are going to store it we are going to store it inside the resized folder and where is the resized folder it's inside the images slash and then we have a resized and also we need to provide the name of the images what we are going to provide this okay i'm going to uh, uh, provide this one compressed compressed dot jpg so this is going to be our compressed image name okay and here we have what we need to do here is uh, uh, instead of this dsc we have to provide this src okay src should be here and after that uh, it's okay it's all right so if something happened means if uh, the uh, calling was not able to store the, uh, the you know save the file uh, the compressed file then it is going to show this error that is failed to save images okay now here one thing we see is we see the red color red color warning in the imaging keyword so uh, to remove all this we have to uh, uh, execute the go mod tidy okay yeah it should should be removing uh, it's not going i don't know why okay no problem uh here we need to import something and uh, just go to the website again and import we need to import this one okay so import it import let's URT. Okay, just yeah. Now, also, uh, still we have some red color warning here. So for that, we need to execute the go more tidy again. Mm -hmm. Just uh, just give a second. It should be removed. Okay, now it is gone means we don't have any error now so let's clear this terminal and then now everything is fine okay so we what we did here we got the original images part here we have provided and then we are going to resize it uh, it's white is going to be 200 pixel okay now if we can see it is a very large file that we're having at the fo original folder it's a very less so we're going to re resize it to 200 pixel only as a white and then we're going to save it with the name of one compressed.jpc okay let us check it whether it is working or not so this we're going to run this go run main dot go okay okay this compressing is comp okay no errors we see okay that means it is working and uh, it is uh, done and now we can see here a new image inside the resize folder and there is one compass.jpg that means it's working fine so let us go to the folder and check the original file first see uh, we can see how much big it is it is so much big and then if we go back and check out inside the resize folder and we can check this see how much small it is it is just only a 200 pixel we can check the size of it it is only 14 uh, kilobytes okay 
okay now this is very small image there is only 200 pixels okay let us check it to 500 pixels okay let us make a little bit bigger okay uh 800 pixels 800 pixels okay then save it and then run the main.go file again okay yeah now it's done okay now uh, uh, what mistake we did was that we did uh, uh, we, we have provided the same name we did not uh, change the name so uh, this is replaced now it is going to be 800 pixel and it is a little bit uh, bigger than previous one that means it is working and it is now 800 pixel wide okay and that we can see the size of the image is 197 kb okay so that's it guys now you learn how to research the image using golden we'll see in the next video how to how to what how to what is the next thing we have how to you know okay which one we need to see how to curve okay we'll uh, check about the how to curve images using uh, you know golden in the next video so thank you for watching